Quebec City is one of the oldest European settlements in North America. Founded in 1608 by French explorer Samuel de Champlain, the Canadian city has a distinctly Gallic feel. When it comes to sport, for the last four years, Quebec has been the location for one of the newest events on cycling's elite road racing calendar. The Grand Prix Cycliste de Quebec is a one-day race and part of the UCI's attempts to spread top-level cycling into North America. Ryder Hejdal is Canada's first and only Grand Tour winner, having triumphed at the 2012 Giro d'Italia. He's competed in all three previous editions of the Grand Prix, which is one of the few races staged in his home country. Despite taking place on the last weekend of the Vuelta a España, many of the world's top riders are in Canada. Well, it's just part of racing all the time. You always have to uh, decide, and, you know, most of the seasons uh, split, you know, two programs at one time, sometimes three, sometimes four, so. Uh, you know, you got to spread out the work and, and make those plans. And as the season progresses, you know, it works itself out. So, um, you know, for me, you know, I enjoy being at these races because they're in Canada, and uh, normally adjust the program for the season for that to be the case. Fans are amazing. I, I feel the support. I feel the the crowds. You know, that that extra support. I mean. A lot of years uh, I had to race with, with lots of other guys getting in. I mean, you're in Belgium, you're in France, you're in Italy, you're in Spain, you're in Holland. Uh, you know, all those guys are getting that home support, and there's many races in, in those countries. So it's nice to have some uh, big time bike racing in Canada. Great Britain's Chris Froome is making his Canadian debut. Team Sky Rider has become one of the biggest names in cycling, having won this year's Tour de France, and the 28-year-old leads the road racing world standings. I think uh, pretty much every race I go to now, um, uh, there's a lot more pressure, there's a lot more expectations on me, but uh, yeah, I don't think that changes how I race. Um, I still give the races 100% and uh, try and get any, whatever I can out of them. Despite becoming the second British rider in succession to win the Tour de France, Kenyon Bornfrey is yet to taste much success in one-day races such as this one. One-day races is always a little bit of a, a gamble. Uh, you never know what you're going to get out of it. And if you don't get the win, it's not like you can go for it and make up time the day after. So it is a gamble, but uh, I'm here in, in good condition. Uh, there's a couple of us, Richie Port's also going really well. And um, I, I think we'd, we'd definitely like to be competitive towards the, the end of the race. There are seven Grand Tour winners taking part in this year's race. One of them is Radio Shack Leopard's Andy Schleck. But there is another rider whose current form is making him the hot favourite. Well, I believe that uh, the big favourite is, is Sagan, you know, he's winning uh, left and right uh, pretty much every race he does so far, so uh, I believe he is the big, his big favourite. And um, yeah, I mean, there's a uh, from uh, Richie Port here, Contador, you know, big names too, so I uh, have to watch an eye and uh, keep an eye on them. Having finished this year's Tour de France outside of the podium places, Spain's Alberto Contador is hoping for a good result on the streets of Quebec. In terms of the Tour, there are times you can win and there are times you can't. This year, well, I couldn't win. But it will be good to have a positive end to the season, especially for the World Championships. And the races in Canada are the way to do it. The technically demanding 12.6 km circuit, which the riders complete 16 times, has four main climbs. The toughest of these is the Côte de la Montagne, a 375 meter ascent with a maximum grade of 13%. On the second lap, 
free riders led by Radio Shack's Tiago Machado make a break from the main peloton. The trio lead for the first half of the race with an advantage of more than six minutes. With just over one lap to go, it's Kejdal who makes a move. The Canadian is hoping to get a response from the sprinters, who so far have been able to let their teams do all the work. But Kejdal cannot sustain his charge and is wheeled back into the peloton. On the final climb of the day, Chris Froome leads the peloton, but Peter Sagan sprints clear. With one kilometre to go, 12 riders contest a bunch sprint finish for the line. To everyone's amazement, Sagan runs out of energy 200 metres short. Belkin Pro Cycling's Dutchman Robert Hessing takes full advantage and claims victory. Head of France's Arthur Bichon and Belgium's Greg van Avermaet. Like Sagan and, and Greg are normally much, much faster than I am. But it was a really tough race and everybody was really, really tired, I guess. And then the uphill, yeah, it's like an uphill sprint and that also suits me. So uh, it all came together today, I guess. But there's no time to rest as all the riders travel to Montreal for the next race just two days later. Whilst Team Sky were unable to mount a strong challenge in Quebec, their principal rider still thinks that there are a lot of positives to take ahead of the last races of the year. After yesterday's uh, performance in, in Quebec, um, we, we didn't come away with a result. But having said that, it was for us, I mean, that's bike racing. That's, uh, you can't always come out winning a race. That's your only opportunity, and if, if things don't work out, that's it. You, you've got to try again next next edition. So for us, uh, it didn't work out yesterday. Uh, personally, I, I, I felt I felt quite good. I was, I was there until three kilometers to go, and then uh, got blown out of the water on the final climb. Assessing the result is the best way to end a disappointing season. I'm really happy. I mean. Uh, I had a tough season so far. It didn't really, really work out as I wanted to, and uh, worked really hard after the tour to get to get in, in great shape here. So for me, it's uh, it's also yeah, all the work I put in, I, I got something back for it, and I'm really happy with that. Having attracted the likes of Sagan, Froome, and Contador to Canada, the Grand Prix Cycliste de Quebec is firmly establishing itself as one of the premier road races of the cycling season.